everybody, this is Dr. Medea Saeed, board certified integrative holistic family physician coming to you live today from my kitchen. So I was off today from work, um, had a couple meetings this morning, went grocery shopping, so I couldn't go um, grocery shopping um, this weekend, so I did it today because this weekend was a little crazy because of the nice weather and I didn't want to be stuck indoors. So I decided today I would batch cook for the rest of the week. Um, might need to redo a little bit here and there, but mostly batch cook. But the thing is, in my house, <laughs> I have eight people. Yes, I live with my in-laws who were born and raised in Pakistan. My husband was born and raised in Pakistan. So we, and I was born and raised in, in the U.S. So we have completely different cultures. And trying to keep them all happy and healthy is my goal in life, right? So East meets, meets West sort of thing. So I am wanting to show you what I'm batch cooking when my kids be, get back in an hour, have food ready, and then I don't have to cook the next couple of days. So let me take a look, let me take a show you what I've done. So here what I've done is I had bone broth. There goes my, but I had bone broth. And um, so what happened, what's happened is that this bone broth, I was able to make broccoli soup. So my little utensil that, oh here. So this is then the broccoli soup that I made. You top this off with a little coconut milk and cilantro and parsley. So that's what the kids are going to have as soon as they get home today. Um, then I'll show you here first. Um, I, today I did two different things of baking. So I made zucchini bread. So there's one in the oven right now. Here. So like there's one zucchini bread in the oven. And um, I will then give this also, I give this to my, all my siblings and everybody lives close by. So <laughs> I like to share the love. So um, I made double batches of zucchini bread so they can have that. Again, any time that I can put vegetables, healthy fats and protein all in one source um, is amazing. So then what I've done is I have made uh, shrimp fajitas. I bought, you can buy, and this is something so simple and easy, so you have these little shrimp that are wild caught, no added preservatives, nothing, at Costco for like a huge bag. Here, let me show you the bag. So it's really cool because a huge bag, so a huge bag, so a huge bag of this wild caught cooked shrimp can easily be used. So it's really cool and easy that, that we can, um, I stick that then into, <laughs> put all your veggies and your paprika, smoked paprika and cilantro and um, parsley, garlic, cumin. Um, I stuck, I put uh, turmeric in every dish possible. <laughs> Thanks you guys for the hot heart love. So I quickly batch that up. So that's gonna go in the oven also. And then I have um, taken two chicken breasts and um, just marinated that. So that's something that's also going to cook. So anything, again, I could stick it in the baked oven. <laughs> it's the easiest. So this is real health for real life. And so that is the, all that's going to go in the oven. Here, I... In order to make curry, now again, my parent, my my in-laws were born and raised in Pakistan, and my um, husband was born and raised in Pakistan, so he still needs his curries. Um, and so, what I do is I batch cook. I put onions, and for the base of the curry, you need uh, for the base of the curry, you need um, tomatoes and onions and garlic and turmeric. And then we have cumin, we have paprika, some, um, you know, something spicy like uh, red pepper or, um, so all of that goes into this dish. And then I quickly, <laughs> it's like five minutes, I put it on the pressure cooker and it's done. And so what this will do, so like you only need this much or maybe double that depending on how many people you're feeding for um, for batch cooking a curry. So let me show you. 
So that way, this is done. I'll stick it in glass little Tupperware. Let me show you what I've done in the Tupperware. So what I do in my freezers, I use, um, those are from my mom, so I don't use that. But this here is what I normally do. I only store in, um, I only store in glass. So that's really nice. So I will then store this in glass, right? And here is what I've done for today. So I had actually some leftover um, bone broth, so I added that to this. And this is then a curry that is um, slowly cooking. It takes like all day to cook. <laughs> but this is, if you look, this is um, bone broth with some of this delicious curry. And then we did cauliflower. So this is cauliflower curry. Um, in, in Urdu, we call this gobi gorsht or gobi kasalan. So this is what I'm doing there. So these are kinds of things that I've done. Um, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, that's gonna still rise. And yep, so that is me, my batch cooking. I hope that has helped, you know, realize that yes, I'm a normal human being. Also, <laughs> my kids are actually playing upstairs. So I was able to quickly show you I'll let you guys get back to your lives and craziness. And again, I'm here for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at any time. You can message me with questions. And if I can do it, you guys can do it. Yay! And I can be your cheerleader along the way. See you guys later. Bye.